recall that from one of the earlier videos, I had this two-in-one laptop that I run Windows on, and it has a Pentium processor, right? So it's running an Intel Pentium processor with four gigabytes of RAM, and it has a 500 gigabyte SSD. Well, the thing about that is um, I put that SSD in there. Uh, this was the mechanical hard drive that the computer came with, right? And it's a 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive with um, a SATA interface, right? And, you know, some may ask, how do you get that? Um, how, do you, how do you do that? Well, I don't actually explain that here. There's innumerable videos on YouTube and elsewhere that can explain that. But one of the devices that you do use for that is called a drive enclosure. And so what a drive enclosure does is um, it's a, it's a, it's this uh, device that you can, you can get. And basically this is a device where you take the mechanical hard drive, right? Or a solid state drive, it does not matter, right? As long as the interface matches up, right? So uh, the, these uh, interfaces, uh, they, they have to match, they have to correspond, right? And so you basically t take this out of the computer, right? You take this hard drive out of the computer and you put it in a device like this, right? Again, it's called a drive enclosure. And I've used these for years and years and years, right? And then you know it comes with screws. You put the uh, you put the screws in. Hold on. Let's see if I can screw this with my hands. Now let's pull out the tool kit for that. Let's see. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Let me get you a screwdriver. And so you just secure it in there. Um, I will admit I don't always uh, secure it, you know, when I'm using these, I'll just let it be out there bare, right? Because uh, I don't have any, there's no situation where it's going to fall off the table, but you know, especially if I'm doing something kind of quick, right? So now you have it secure. So you've turned your internal hard drive into into an external hard drive. And it comes with a cable like this. This one is called a USB-S cable. USB-S cable. And I like to get Velcro and put Velcro on there so I can keep the cables neat and secure, right? And so this end goes into here. And then this other end is just standard USB. You plug it into the computer that you just took this external hard drive out of. And then that computer you've put, you've put inside, you've put inside that computer a new SSD, right? So you've put a new SSD in here. I did this, you know, many years ago. Um, and then you plug this into the computer, right? So let's say if I was going to do this upgrade, I would have um, plugged this right in there, right? So now I got everything, you know, uh, all plugged in. And then I would transfer the windows uh, from the from the old hard drive to the new hard drive, right? And actually, anyone who is uh, following this and, and knows how this is done, I actually describe that in the backwards way. You would leave the old hard drive in there, in the computer. You would plug the new SSD into here, right? And then you would transfer windows from the old hard drive to the new hard drive then after that is done you can take the old hard drive out of the laptop put it in here which i've done to preserve it right because sometimes a transfer goes wrong and there you are and so now that we've changed um our solid state formats you know over the years you know they're the, the 2.5 inch format is still um, is still um, all the rage, right? Um, for for certain for certain types of computers, but what we have now is um, a 2.5 inch. 
right, uh, M.2. And this laptop here, I took the uh, S, the M.2 drive that comes with it, I took it out of here and I put, um, I put the old one in here and I left the Windows license in place, right? Um, because, you know, that's, that's something that I do now it's a it's a way I, I upgrade uh, computers to Linux is I don't erase the original um, um, internal drive. I just take the internal drive out and I, I preserve it in kind of cold storage in case I ever want to bring it back to manufacturer um, uh, standard. Or let's say I want to um, put this laptop back into service as a Windows machine. I can do that. And so um, this particular one, you know, you just pull this this little lever back, right? And this is a solid state from another laptop, right? Um, I also upgraded it. Um, this one, um, it's also an M.2, right? Uh, the interface is just a little different here uh, than the one you just saw. But anyway... This one was, uh, I believe it's a 256 gigabyte. And I wanted to upgrade it, uh, the other laptop to a one terabyte. So anyway, I also put this in cold storage. And notice that you have different tabs that can accommodate different um, sized uh, M.2 drives. And so you just, like, you just snap this in here and you pull this lever back. Pull that lever back. And, you know, these come with a cable, right? So, you know, you can plug this cable in. It's USB-C on this side and USB-C on this side. It's a little more streamlined than what I showed you earlier, right? And so, um, but I rarely use these for data transfers, right? Uh, it is a great way to make a M.2 external um, drive, right? Because these enclosures, they are like, uh, 10 bucks you can get them for less right and um, they're they're totally awesome and it's and this one I like it because it's all metal and metal is going to help dissipate heat and it's also going to be more durable than a plastic model and so that's basically how um, basically how that works right so um, I definitely recommend m.2 drive enclosures for a variety of reasons um, to preserve your um, internal drive, right, that you that you got uh, out of the laptop, right, preserve it, and to um, affect data transfer if you need to, to also make it an external drive if that's, um, you know, something you need to do. Um, you can plug them into Raspberry Pis uh, as external drives. That's, that's another good use for them. You don't have uh, the moving parts like you did with the mechanical drives. And, of course, you got the larger 2.5-inch drives that also don't have, uh, you know, uh, SSDs that don't have moving parts, but they're also a little larger and a little more uh, uh, unwieldy, right? These are nice, small, they fit in your pocket, they're very sleek, and so uh, I think uh, this, this, is a, this is a great direction for storage drives.